How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mess of Beer Reviews. Back with the last of, was it three? Buttonwoods Brewing beers in the form of their Corner Dilemma. This is a raw India Pale Ale. No idea what raw means. Uh, maybe they tell me I'm here. Um, no, no raw, no raw. It's raw. Hot damn, it's raw. Uh, this comes from uh, my boy Steve. Steven is his name. I don't know why I called him Steve. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what's what. We'll reserve judgment for this after I'm done. Um, new brewery. Never had anything from these guys before. Um, this is number, like I said, three of three uh, from him. And that looks the part of New School kind of hazy. Label-wise, I've said this before. <sighs> this label looks... Babe, my wife's kind of ran the other side. What does that label remind you of? Can you see it? Doesn't remind you of anything? It looks like a paperback book you find anywhere. Okay. It reminds me of like a template you'd see on WordPress for like a Wix, like home, like when you build a website and it's like, here's your pre canned backgrounds in, you know, in font design. Leave it there and they don't yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what it, anyway, that's, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm not trying to make fun of their logoing, but. I guess I am a little bit, but man, it's, I like it though. That's the thing. Those things are thought up very, very purposefully and they work. So I'm not sitting here pooping on them. I'm just saying it's kind of what it reminds me of. So anyway, but it looks like a nice hazy, soft little, like kind of light orange kind of glow and a richer kind of orange kind of uh, center to it. Infinitely super tight compact bubbles on this. I mean, micron level stuff. So she looks the part of a nice fluffy, creamy, hazy. Let's get a nose. There's little butter vibes going on in this. Little, I don't know if it's DMS or Dacetyl, because I don't know if it's a butter or a cream corn thing, but there's definitely an off thing going on here. Hop, citrus hops, a little bit of hop green, but it really is that soft, it's Dacetyl. Uh, soft little buttery vibe kind of floating around in there. Is it cream corn? I don't know which one it is. We'll find out. But there's something a little bit... Off on this. I would tell you if this beer was old or new, but there is no dating on the can, so we're just going to dive in. Cheers. It's got a really nice mouthfeel. That's the biggest positive for me. There's a nice soft grapefruit, nice soft citrus. Everything comes off more soft than the other beers that I've had from them. At least, um, no, all of them. The hazies. There's one mystery beer in there. Um... But um, you definitely get that kind of soft kind of... It's a mixture. It is. I'm, I'm trying to fight between them, whether it's the acid or dimethyl sulfide, but it's, it tastes like a combination of the two. So there's a soft little buttery vibe, soft little cream corn vibe. That doesn't necessarily make the beer infinitely disgusting. I mean, I'm not a big kind of like that sucks kind of thing when, those come, when it comes to that. I mean, dimethyl sulfide, I drank my fair share of rolling rocks, so I'm not immune to it, but I'm okay with it. And... That still tastes like butter. Who doesn't like fucking butter? But when it comes to beer, it's been kind of ingrained in your brain. And be like, these are bad things. And it's definitely present here. But it's the only time I've had that from the four beers that I've had from this company. So I think it's just an aberration as opposed to kind of a constant. That being said, like, uh, like I was uh, mentioning just before that little rant. The mouthfeel on this is probably my favorite of all the beers I've had. There's still a little bit of carbonic thing, but nothing over the top. Lean's kind of citrus, a little bit of bittering, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of variety, a little bit of pithiness. I'm a soft little green kind of hoppiness, done and done. So it's not an overtly bad beer, but when you have those kind of negative off flavors, in the combination it presents itself to me, again, this is me drinking the beer, my thoughts, my opinions, my kind of viewpoint of the beer. It just kind of is just, this is probably the, how do I put, I'm not trying to be nice about this, but I'm also not trying to be a dick. This is the worst made beer I've had from them, but probably the one with the most potential, if that makes any sense. And, you know, a brewery trying to make good, doing new things, you never want to dump on a brewery, but at the same time, you know, I want to sit here and tell you fucking porky pies. I don't want to be disingenuous and pander. And in and, and, and what I said in the other beer reviews was I taste something good in their beers and I want to grow with this beer. I want to try them as a 
continue to grow and progress and see what changes and what evolves out of what they do. And it's much the same with the spear. Except the other ones had a, uh, a cleaner, more concise kind of beer, um, but less to be excited about. I know that sounds douchey because I can't think of the right words. This one, while maybe not as technically sound, has a little bit more kind of pizzazz to it where I'm like, okay, now take that a little bit more over here, combine it with that cleanliness and everything over there, and I think you start to really make like a really fun really well established kind of base foundation to grow off of again i'm a dude on youtube i'm just saying what i'm fucking thinking this brewery probably gives two fucks about the words that come out of my mouth but it is what it is it's my channel i'll cry if i want to and uh so yeah not a bad cut if that if that a little bit of off flavor those two off flavors weren't there i think it'd be a little bit more of a more of a welcoming beer but it's just a little bit off for me things happen it is what it is is it one of the better ipas i've had as of late no Vagate availability, no idea. Steven, want to let me know what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like growing with a brewery. I've said it in the other reviews, I'll say it now. These are kind of, you know, you get this beer from breweries been around for f five years, ten years. You're kind of like, okay, I gave you guys my time. Um, but I'm assuming this is a brand new brewery. I've never heard of them before. Um, this is the first time I've been sent any of their stuff, so I'm assuming they're new. So this is a brewery. If you like breweries that are trying to do good... You know, I'm assuming that's what they're doing here as a new brewery. That uh, it'd be fun to grow with these guys because you know you never know where uh, you never know where loyalty is born. So keep an eye on these guys because it could be pretty fucking awesome stuff down the road. So there you go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there. If you want to talk about it, massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying. A little bit of a uh, yeah, button woods right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers.